What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence. Get this, Errol Spence calls out everyone, including Terrence Crawford, of associating themselves with Snack. Victor Conti is a guy that was convicted for um, creating a PED that helped fighters perform better. Okay? Made them better than themselves. <laughs> right? Now, he's doing that. Instinctively, he's doing that strategically. Like, why would all of a sudden you want to call out everybody that works for Victor Conti when you didn't do that before? Now, you want to talk about and you called out Terrence Crawford, but you mentioned Terrence Crawford in this segment. So, you're not talking about Sh Shakur Stevenson, you're not talking about Demetrius Andre, uh, um, uh, Mikey Garcia, uh, uh, Frank Sanchez. Devin Haney, you're not talking about any of those people. So let's stop. Let's cut the bullshit. What he's talking about is he's talking about Terrence Crawford. Okay? He's calling out Terrence Crawford, a guy that he caught, just called out after he beat and stopped your Dennis Ugas. Why are you associating with Victor Conte and Snack? He's doing that now, people, because that's if, okay, and when, really, he gets beat. And stopped by Terrence Crawford, that will be the new narrative. That will be the new glove gate. That will be the new everything else. The wild boar meat, all that shit. People then could be, okay, let's save face from this happening. Errol Spence is doing that shit because Errol Spence knows if I get beat by him, I have to have something legitimate to fall back on. So let me talk about it now versus after. Because nobody, let's face it, nobody wants to look like Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder came with every excuse in the book after the fact. And like I told people, hey, that would be different if Wilder said that before. Speak it, believe it, receive it. But you had to spoke it before, to believed it before, to received it, whatever. Right? So Errol Spence is a little smarter than that. He was like, hmm, I don't want to end up like that guy over there. I want to bring this to the forefront now just in case I get stopped. Then I can, I can start claiming, hey, you know what? He worked with a drug cheat anyway. I don't know what he was juiced up with. He came from 135, then to 140, then to 147, and he stopped all these people back to back. You think that was all natural? Imagine Errol Spence saying that. He fought all these people back to back, and he's going to come up, he's going to stop me, and I'm a bigger, stronger guy. No, he was just a better guy. He had better technique. He has more in his arsenal. He has a lot going, a lot more going. He has more experience. See, he went to war with the guys that were at 147. He fought Sean Porter. He didn't fight Keith Thurman. He fought who? Kell Brook. Uh, um, Dennis Ugas. I'm missing somebody, I know. Danny Garcia. There you go. So he had these fighters there, but these fighters were on an island. These fighters didn't really have too much to really do. The only person that fought everyone was Sean Porter. Sean Porter is the only person that stuck out. Everybody else, Garcia, Spence, uh, uh, um, Thurman, all these guys, they fought whoever Al Heyman told them to fight. So I'm saying all this to say the experience level is going to be a factor in that fight because the evolution of Terrence Crawford ain't started 147. He fought an undisputed Gamboa, Postal, those kind of guys on Dongle before he got stopped. He fought these guys, and he beat these guys, Olympians, okay, that's supposed to, be, to pose some kind of threat to Terrence Bud Crawford, all right? So he got every belt. Where to Errol Spence wants to go, where he has to go through Terrence Crawford to get to, Terrence Crawford has already done that, okay? So you can argue, oh, that's a different weight class, but guess what? He kicked every ass down there, okay? So... This is damage control, or should I say pre-damage control? And what I mean by that is, okay, you're creating something before it happens. I'm about to fall off this building. Let me put a damn mat down so I won't splatter all over the ground because I know I'm going to fall. 
See, that's what I don't like. He's sitting there saying, oh, well, you know, he ought to call out everybody, including Terrence Crawford, that messed with Conte, Victor Conte. You know, he, you may already know he can Victor Fed, and I don't know what they messing with him for. Okay, a lot of people did that. I mean, how many people that they hire that actually knew what to look for? Frank Abagnale Jr., catch me if you can. Ever seen the movie? Tom Hanks, Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay, why do you think they hired him? They hired him because he knew what something bad looks like. That's understandable. You hire a crook to catch a crook, right? But you now, you claim that, oh, because Terrence Crawford now is associated with snag, now you have a problem with it. Let me ask you this. Did Errol Spence have a problem with snack before he called out Terrence Crawford? How long has Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence been really brewing? Three, four years now? It's been brewing a minute. Let's do this. Hold on. When did Terrence Crawford fight Jeff Horn? Uh, this was in, no, this, what was this? Okay, go back. What was the date? Batters Jeff Horn, June 9th, 2018. Okay, well. That was almost four years ago. But did you hear Errol Spence say anything, mention any, anything about Terrence Crawford allegedly being a cheat or Victor Conti or any of this shit? You didn't hear none of this. Now all of a sudden you're hearing it. It's just too convenient, people. It's just too convenient. That's a doubt. That's fear. That's, oh, um, I may not want to do this, okay? But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Errol Spence calling out Terrence Crawford for working with Victor Conti. Of course, please subscribe, and you guys have been Counterpunch. Peace.